Welcome to Hooray for Politics at the Smithsonian National Museum of American History in Washington, where we learn that ballot comes from the word ballota, Italian for little ball, colored balls being an earlier and simpler way of voting. As Harry Rubenstein, head of the museum's division of political history, explains. And the way it works is you put the ball in the little hole, different people come and do it, open it up, and you get your count. Now you know where the expression blackballed comes from. It's the ultimate no vote. On to the paper ballot. This Maryland ballot for the Electoral College is believed to be from our first election in 1789. By the mid-1800s, voters were given more blatantly partisan ballots with candidate pictures, such as this one featuring Ulysses S. Grant from 1868. Come the 1900s, states were using large ballots, including all the candidates, so big they were called blanket ballots. At the same time, in big cities, technology was taking over, though paper ballots can still be found in some places, even today. And then there's the 2000 presidential election in Florida. Remember those hanging chads? So which artifact from this year's campaign will rate a spot in a future exhibit? Like the election itself, stay tuned.